Now, sir, if you'd like to state your name first. Okay, I'm Tom Martin. I'm a Pennsylvania delegate from the 5th Congressional District. Okay. And you, sir? And my name's Tom Bozier, and I'm a, a delegate from the 1st District in Pennsylvania. And you guys are down here at Paul Fest supporting Ron Paul? Yes, we are. That's right. Very good. Now, I hear that there's some type of story that you guys have to talk about on Monday. You guys are both going to the committee meeting where they're going to be voting on rules. That's correct, yeah. Okay. And uh, one of the rules is that they're trying to get passed is that if Romney has 25 delegates and uh, Ron has 10, then Romney gets all 35 and Ron gets none. Okay. So basically changing the rules as you go is, um, well, that's fair, honest, and decent, right? Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and roll shed. I mean, roll shed. I mean, uh, <laughs> and also, they're also trying to change that if uh, Ron, you need to be nominated, you need uh, eight states now. And you need a plurality five. in eight states instead of the five states right. now? Okay. And the reason we're talking about this now is we want to get this voted down. We'll come up on Monday session for the business session before the convention starts and so all these rules apply. And now what I also heard is that uh, they tried to do it to 10 states and that failed. That actually didn't get passed. That's correct. So now they're changing it to eight and that's their new thing that they're trying that's to pass on Monday. The, okay. This stuff that's going on, I consider it a, um, a suicide run by those who are in charge. They. They like to preach about, we want a big tent, but they're busy trying to push Ron and Paul people out. What do they want, a big empty tent? Right. Uh, the thing about politics is you like, you compromise, that's politics. And you know, you might want to like talk with the Ron and Paul people. What is it that we really want? We want the government to follow the law. We are follow the rules. It's not like you have a special set of rules for those in charge. And then all the little people have to do everything and they, you know, be stuck with all the rules that they don't have to follow. And if they ape the same kind of garbage that annoys all the people at large by seeing the criminality of the people in, in charge, but they still have to follow the rules, they're gonna like look at red, blue, doesn't make any stinking difference. We're getting hosed either way. Yeah, and I, I think people are waking up to that too, that they're they're seeing if, if the, the difference. If the Romney camp had any brains, they would act honestly, they would win an honest, fair floor fight. But these issues that are exciting the base of the Ron Paul people would come for we would have some give and take, and then come November, you'll have our excitement because you know you're working with us. But if you're working to push us out the door, you might even win at that. Right. But how is that going to help you come November? Uh, I don't think. It's I think your uh, Ron Paul base is going to be gone. Uh, and that him will in. help them in a very close race. How? I don't think the GOP is trying to win, to be honest with you. It seems like a That's suicide That's my philosophy, run. is that they are a bunch of kamikazes out there trying to drive the party into the ground, because if they wanted a chance a to win... they white people who are going to drop off soon, and they've kicked out the youth. That's right. not very smart. I agree. And, they, and today, the chairman, Gravis, tried to state, made a statement saying that, oh, we finally have a unified party, we're ready for the convention, and all this and that, and, and it seems to be a lot different than what he says. How about unified for doing what's best for America? Listening to Americans? Instead of one party, I think that, like you said, we should be doing what's great for America, not for the Republican Party, but for the American people. Yeah, I'm for so. the Constitution first before I'm for any party. Exactly. So, is there anything else you guys would like to get in here? Uh, vote no on those rules, then. That'd be great. I thank you guys for your time. I'm just finding out about these rules over the last five minutes. Right? Uh, isn't that nice? Isn't that special? The flow of traffic and information, right? Yeah. Well, I thank you guys for putting in the time, becoming delegates, coming down to Tampa, representing the people of Philadelphia and of the whole United States and the Ron Paul supporters. I thank you. Right, thank no you for problem. doing the interview. and. Uh, I'll keep you guys all up to date. Make sure you stay up to date by checking out my channel. It's Matt Larson 10. As always, go Ron Paul. Peace. And prosperity. And prosperity. Perfect. Thank you guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Um, nice.